I recently made a video on the IB5281 RLC bridge and the IG5280 RF oscillator. I now have the matching power supply so I thought I would make a short follow-up video about it. As I mentioned in that video, the 5280 series of test equipment could be run on batteries, in most cases two 9-volt batteries, or the optional IPA5280-1 power supply. The power supply could power up to five instruments at once, presumably one of each of the five models in the series. It's a small unit in a plastic case which matches the color scheme of the series. It has a power line input connection and five output cables with suitable connectors to mate with the instruments. There's no power switch. It's switch selectable for 120 or 240 volts AC and is fused. Taking a look inside, all circuitry is on one printed circuit board. It's a pretty simple design with a power transformer, two rectifier diodes, 500 microfarad and 10 microfarad filter caps on each of the two power rails, and regulation done by LM317T and LM337T integrated circuits. 1% precision resistors are used in the voltage divider for the regulators. Output is plus and minus 9 volts within plus or minus 9 percent at 100 milliamps. Mine measures pretty close to 9 volts on each rail with no load. The kit for the power supply included the parts needed to modify up to five of the 5280 series instruments for external power, including the connector, switch, wire, and hardware. Here is the unit powering the two instruments I own. It typically sold for US $36.95, and I assume it was offered throughout the life of the 5280 series, 1977 to 1991. Heathkit sometimes had a deal that if you bought the power supply in three units of the 5280 series, you would get a 5% discount on the total. The winter 1978 catalog has this offer, for example. I bought this unit on eBay from the same seller as the other two instruments. It was working in good cosmetic shape and came with the original manual. I'm told that the power supply is reasonably rare. Now that I have the power supply, I suppose I need to complete the collection by finding the audio oscillator, signal tracer, and multimeter.